good morning guys this is maya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn about how to make a logo a 3d logo for dialogues evo so before getting into the video i would like to thank all the subscribers and viewers of our channel so we have crossed thousand subscribers and uh, and I'll be adding few more features on my YouTube channels like uh, say the one I included recently was the pro tip but in the upcoming tutorials I will also be adding a link of the project which I'll be working for the tutorial so that you can directly go to that link and download it for the practice purpose so this was requested by one of our subscribers and yes we'll be soon implementing this other things are apart from dialogues evo in the future tutorials i'll also be making videos on autocad photoshop and sketchup if you want me to add some more things in my youtube channel then please let me know in the comments below now let's get started so generally we when we are doing projects in the dialogues evo maybe for the facade project or any other project we come across this logos logos may be of different types some may be a symbol and some are the text so today we'll be discussing about the logos which are present in the form of text for that you need to, to make the 3d logos we'll be using sketchup if you don't have sketchup it's no big deal you get 30 days free trial of the sketchup version any new version you can download it and install okay now let's get started the first step is when you are opening the sketchup make sure you select the units to be meters because our dialogues evo the standard units are in meters so now in the sketchup here is the tool for the 3D text. Select this one. And once you select, you get this window appearing. So the first thing it asks is of font. So you can choose any font which is there in your logo. Like say I want to use this Broadway or a brush script. Let's uh, now let's select this font, Georgia Pro Black. Or maybe a Georgia Pro okay now you can enter the text for your logo like say for example I just want to mention thank you control all if it wants to be a bold you can make it bold regular or italics or bold italics so for now we'll keep it regular can also define the height and width of your 3D text. Set it in a such a way that you can see X and Y axis clearly. Go select rotate tool. Click on the origin. Click on the green axis rotate it now it is on blue axis when it is on blue axis click on the left mouse button zoom all now rotate it and here your 3d text is properly placed and in proper alignment once this is done select this go to file export 3d model desktop we'll name it as logo 1 save it ok Go to your dialogs now we will import our logo file import furniture file desktop logo one zoom all go to the 3d view and here you can see your logo perfectly placed you can also add some textures This is how you make a logo for Dialogs Evo. It's quite simple. But say, 
your logo is not in an english language it is in some other language maybe arabic maybe urdu or maybe some other language so how are we going to make that how are we going to make that let's check it out all you need to do is first go to google translator go to google translate select your language for typing in like mine is english from english to i'll be changing it to arabic language now this is the same text in arabic so i'll go i'll select this control c go to paint select text control v go to home and crop it once this is done save your file in the png format we'll name it as logo 2 now go for any online image to dhcf converter there's one website called convertio you can use this here you can easily select your files like choose your file this is the logo 2 we made convert it and download okay now i'll go back to our sketchup we'll delete this for now zoom all we are going to import the DXF file now. File, import, DXF, close. So our file is properly imported. You can see here. Now it is not a filled one. It is only a outline of the text. So for this, we'll, what we have to do is double select on this go to tools and select rectangle draw an imaginary rectangle across the text like this okay now select everything and explode it see if it is properly exploded because sometimes what happens is your text will not be properly visible so that time what you have to do is make a make a group and explode it again since my text is properly clear i will delete the extra part and also the extra lines zoom all now this is a flat surface i need a 3d text for that we'll push up the surface select this tool to do it we'll start from here okay you have to select on the surface bring it up while you're still making it selected type on your keyboard the dimensions of the width you want let's say i want it to be 0.2 meters directly type it 0.2 meters okay same here select move it up 0.2 meters okay you can do it this way also you can select the surface and uh, keep on the face of the other object like this okay like you're selecting this and keeping it on the surface so now everything is on the same dimensions okay our 3d text is properly placed now we'll make a group control all make a group we'll rotate it now export it file export 3d model desktop logo 2 go to the dialogs file 
import furniture file select the 3d object and place it and here you can see your text properly placed you can scale it if your logo is too big perfect you can change the texture you want You can also check if any of the parts are missing. Okay, so this is how you make a text logo in the Dialogs Evo. It's quite simple and easy. Now, say we used a paint tool to copy the text and uh, we were able to do it. There are some fonts uh, some languages which you can't convert it using the paint tool like uh, you can't convert Hindi or Kannada text here through paint so for that what you can do is you can use Photoshop to copy and paste the text from the Google translator make an image file other than that the whole process remains same okay now it is a time for a pro tip say you have a text logo and you want to know what font style it is so that you use the same in your project for that all you need to do is go to this website called font squirrel squirrel.com you must have an image or the url of the logo you want to know the font style then here you can upload the image so let's go and upload for this microsoft 365 it will ask you to highlight the text you wish to match you can scale it and my text is selected so i'll go down and i'll select on match related and then you'll get a list of fonts that match to the one you have uploaded in the image so you can use this font style and the process remains same of, of making a 3d text logo in the dialogues evo so this is it guys if you found this video helpful hit a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you